course of the way I had lived, you know, studying the fasting and everything, I ran into a lot of conflict with tradition because I remember once I was in a biochemistry class and the woman professor said you couldn't live 15 days without food that you would, you know, even if you were drinking water, you would die. And I had already done 35 days a couple of times and some shorter fast. So I, I said that really wasn't true. I quoted Otto Bukinger, Ragnar Berg, Dr. Carl Otto Ali, uh, Sergei Falanov, a Russian guy that was fasting schizophrenics that, that I was very impressed with. And again, I, you know, she actually asked me to leave the class, which was the best thing that ever happened to me. So I continued my education in another way which was more compatible with what, what I wanted to do. I did a lot of fasting on my own because I was fascinated by what the Europeans said about fasting. And uh, I was getting very good results with my basic, simple, intermediate level diet because I made people leave out, I encouraged people to leave out everything that would interfere with a healthy physiology. I mean, I did a lot of traveling and I went to Europe and I followed some, you know, I hired interpreters so I could speak to the Russian people that were fasting schizophrenics which I actually did successfully. But in this day and age, in this climate, you can't do some of the radical things I did to heal people because, you know, they, you know you're, just, you're just ripe for, for getting yourself into trouble. And my early years, the first 20 years, I, my life was a personal experiment. Some of the things I did, I mean, people around me, don't forget, I was 200 and, uh, 208, 210 pounds, solid muscle. When I went, when I started experimenting with fasting and I did a, you know, a couple years of fasting, my body weight went from two, I went down after one of my 44 day fast, after doing another fast, my body weight was down to 138 pounds and I'm five foot 11. Everybody around me, my family, everybody around me was in a panic because here I was, you know, looked, you know, I had, a, you know, if they couldn't understand what I was doing, you know, but I was just, I was just fascinated by, by what I was finding out in the pursuit of knowledge, and and I had to continue to study science. I also had to study, you know, what the way doctors were appraising this, because a lot of people come to me are being treated by medical doctors, and uh, you know, I'm not against, uh, you know, a lot of people might think I'm against medical treat. I'm not against medical treatment so long as it's not injuring the person, you know, and then. But I'm, I sometimes I can't give people medical advice. That's their choice. But uh, your body is awesome. The body has the ability to heal. And all chronic disease, people can heal from all chronic disease once you understand the concept to leave out. Years ago, people thought you'd go on a fast, you know, a supervised fast or a fast done correctly. They thought you were going to starve. When I first started the long monitoring long fast, I found that my proteins. Even though I wasn't eating, my albumin, all the things that I had to measure in the blood test, they were normal. Your body was living off what was being discarded. The way you lost was actually surviving the, pro you know, was providing the proteins that you needed. So a lot of this is poorly understood. It's contradicted to, contradictory in some respects to the abstract science that we've been adopted to indoctrinated to was to basically the study of disease. We are talking about the study of health. The human body is designed to be superbly healthy under all conditions. I mean, you can't take somebody out of mainstream society and, and you know, put them on a radical diet. They can't do it or tell them they're going on a 15, 10 or 15 day fast and you're going to fast them at home. If people want, I'm a big proponent of fasting. It's miraculous as far as I'm concerned. I have a lot of experience fasting people that were sick, but I don't do it no more because I, I could get in trouble. So I send them out to uh, True North out in um, California. Sure. Out here Alan Goldhammer and his medical team. The Bible talks about uh, fasting, not, uh, and, and Jesus himself says, not if we pray and fast, but he says when we pray and fast. So oh, we're yeah. expected to fast. You've discovered in your life one of the keys to longevity is fasting. How come more uh, pastors don't teach about uh, fasting today? It's well, so beneficial. They don't, I, well, 
Uh, I mean, it's the Bible. <laughs> well, I think, I, I think that with all due respect, I think they don't have a lot of personal experiences themselves, Paul. Going on a fast to stop eating, there's a very powerful, uh, the hunger drive is very powerful. All addictions work through the hunger drive. Some people t attempt to fast. They don't make it through the first day to the second day. They don't realize that after the third day, their hunger goes away. I was flabbergasted on a long fast that I used to, I got to the point, I didn't want to eat. I said, I think I'll go another couple of days. I think I'll go another couple of days. You know what that means. Of course, eventually, you got to know when you're, when you're, when you're going, when you're coming out of the fasting, fasting state and you're going into, you know, a state where you have to break the fast because you don't want to go into starvation. But that's why I recommend people that want to go on a fast, they go to a fasting retreat and get to supervise, be supervised on a fast. I used to do it, but it's hard to do it, um, you know, unless you're in a fasting retreat and it's, um, it's a lot of, a lot of, uh, I remember when that professor told me you couldn't, <laughs> I'll never forget that. I don't really done it. You know, I knew that was wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Well, 70, well yeah. 72 places in the Bible, approximately 72 places in the Bible where it says we should fast and pray, you know? Well, thank you again for your time. And I'll put your contact information. You're on YouTube. You have videos out there. And I want to get everyone get uh, his book. I'll, I'll put the Amazon link below the video as well. And uh, you've taught me so much uh, when it comes to nutrition, just about everything I know. And uh, I thank you so much. Nature's wealth, good for your health. This is the Raw Life Health Show. Raw Life. Brighten up your life.